these researchers have discovered that a protein key to Parkinson's disease has a shape that's completely different than scientists thought. The protein, called alpha-synuclein, forms dangerous clumps called Lewy bodies in the brains of patients with Parkinson's and certain related disorders. The new study may redirect drug development efforts for the disease. Scientists have long assumed that in healthy cells, alpha-synuclein resembles a writhing snake. They thought it to be a single, randomly coiled chain of chemical building blocks. Scientists refer to this chaotic tangle as an unfolded monomer. But according to the new study, the true structure is far more orderly and sophisticated. It looks quite different than what people thought of as the natural form of synuclein up to now. It is helically wound, not unfolded and floppy, and it is gathered together in a former or tetramer, four monomers, rather than a single unit. Apparently, cells fold each alpha-synuclein monomer into a structure with neat coils, similar to the one pictured here. The cell then brings together four of these units in a package, or tetramer. How does this discovery change our understanding of Parkinson's? The notion had been up to now that a monomer that was unfolded would aggregate into large and larger assemblies that eventually made this Lewy body, which is the hallmark of Parkinson's. But the study suggests an additional step. Four-member packages of alpha-synuclein must break apart before they can form dangerous clumps. And that means scientists have a new therapeutic quest. If they can keep alpha-synuclein packages from breaking apart, they might be able to prevent Parkinson's from progressing or even from developing. We now believe, in fact we show in our, in our paper in Nature, that the tetramer doesn't like to aggregate at all. It's rather stable and happy as a folded tetramer sitting in the cell or sitting in our test tubes. The key then is to discover what keeps the tetramer stable in healthy cells and use that information to develop new therapeutics.